Hello and welcome to the second uh, video update on the state of uh, fact miners and the Soft Talk Apple Project's uh, work to develop a print page number to leaf ID mapping to support e-research and machine learning at the Internet Archive. Uh, this is an update primarily uh, to inform uh, Apostolos and Marco at uh, Daytech uh, 2017 about our submission. Hopefully uh, our reviewers will have a chance to see it too. Um, I'll also provide a link to my first update which has some more information about uh, the ferret in general. But in this one I want to quickly give you an update of the progress that we've made since that first uh, report. And there's three primary uh, advances that we've done. One, uh, we're preserving this, the state of our activity and writing an intermediate JSON file out that we'll be using um, to uh, write updated archive standard item XML uh, scan data XML files as well as to generate the new Fact Miners Magazine ground truth storage format metadata file. We also are recognizing print page numbers at the top and bottom of pages and more importantly we now have a framework to distinguish and handle uh, scan data XML profiles. The first two um, that we're handling the detailed profile is what's generated by the ingestion workflow of the, the scribe systems that the Internet Archive uses in its own regional scanning centers, uh, such as the, the XML, scan XML files that we have with the Softalk Apple project collection, which was scanned at the Fort Wayne Regional Scanning Center by uh, uh, the good folks there. The skinny profile, however, is um, one that's generated when volunteer individuals or organizations upload a scan document or a collection, such as the Byte Magazine collection in the Archives Computer Magazine uh, Archive Meta Collection, which is a collection of 265 computer magazine collections, about 1.4 million uh, pages of computer magazines. And our uh, research, as reported in our second uh, Daytech 2017 paper, uh, found only 26 in instances of print page number to leaf assertions in, in that. So uh, quickly what I want to do is uh, fire up the, the ferret looking at um, the soft talk um, magazine um, and, uh, and take a quick look at the, the uh, state of how we're uh, generating the intermediate uh, JSON XML file. And while that's uh, going out and, and caching a bunch of the high resolution uh, images, um, here we go. So we're now um, on to issue five. Um, if I uh, start and go through, um, we're inferring the first couple are um, covers. Uh, we're we haven't optimized the OCR of the corner um, recognition, um, but we're getting better, and that's something that um, we'll uh, be handling, uh, I think, even uh, better as uh, we learn how to use the TESS, Tesser OCR framework, is um, the, the uh, Tesseract uh, wrapper, Python wrapper that we're using. Okay. So generally, you can see this is a very efficient and focused uh, process for uh, generating the print page number to uh, leaf number uh, mapping on a collection at the Internet Archive. Now, if, if we go to get our next uh, issue, even though we didn't finish, um, what we see here is um, this is the one we were just working on. It, we wrote out that interim JSON file, and uh, and if I can uh, get a little cooperation here, here we go. If we open this in my Oxygen editor, um, you can see that what we were uh, doing is generating a superset of information about the uh, the uh, print page number to. Uh, leaf uh, mapping. This is um, 
includes the validator, the timestamp of the validation, um, whether the validation was an inferred uh, or a, um, these are uh, OCR recognition, so we know what was anticipated to be seen and what was seen um, by the OCR. Now, of course, we didn't get all the way through this one. Um, so this is the information that we start with, which was drawn from the scan the XML file, and which uh, when we validate, we um, gather additional information. Now, I mentioned that uh, another thing that's important, in addition to being able to handle uh, page numbers at the top and bottom of pages, because that's um, what we would typically expect to, to find, is that we also have this challenge of scan XML uh, profiles. This is um, one from uh, Softalk, which is what the, uh, the regional scanning centers who do uh, Internet Archive uh, scanning as a service generate. In addition to their book data being um, uh, fairly detailed about the scanning process, there's also a section on uh, page number data assertions. Um, but more, um, more importantly, there is a considerable amount of detail, as you'll see here in the, the grid view of, of this XML file, with all the um, data that's generated by the scribe system, including um, a column of, of page number assertions, um, uh, go beyond the ones that were in that book data uh, section. As we get way down here, we see that there's a whole lot more uh, page numbers that uh, the scanners uh, noted as they uh, scanned our, our collection. Now, if we compare this file to what we call the skinny profile, this would be the scan data file of an uploaded, a volunteer uploaded uh, uh, collection or, uh, or a document. In this case, we're looking at the scan data for the famous August 81 issue of Byte, which is the small talk issue, one that um, issue that uh, changed my life. And, and we'll be looking at that one um, in just a moment to see some of the new features. But here's a skinny. This would be a skinny scan XML file. And what you see is it has very minimal uh, information about the height and weight and whether um, and which of those leaves is to be considered the uh, uh, cover. Uh, to start the, in this case, uh, the metadata is a book start. Um, the, uh, there's, um, there's no page number assertions or anything like that. So uh, when we, um, let's go and I'll close this and I've already started up a look here at, um, this is a, uh, a typical at about the time when uh, soft talk uh, uh, was, uh, you know, getting to be uh, uh, a, a larger um, magazine, um, growing from you know 20, 30 pages uh, to eventually 400 or so. Um, at this point, um, Byte was already into its sixth volume and regularly was in uh, you know five to 600 page uh, issues. So these are considerable issues. There's no data in them um, to speak of at all in terms of their mapping. So since this was such a, I mean, this is the issue that, that just opened my eyes to wanting to, to be, uh, you know, a very serious uh, software designer developer. I'd been a Com, uh, control data Plato developer and then saw what early microcomputing programming was like and it was like oh my gosh I can't imagine doing that but this just excited me beyond belief and and so I chose this one to to, to do a, a, a run through and do all uh, 496 of its leaves and and uh, to see to get a sense of if we wanted to uh, scan the uh, the entire uh, com computer magazine archive at the Internet Archive of the 1.4 million pages. What what would that effort be? So here we are. We're, um, I'll just step through a few pages. We're inferring the cover. Um, we're inferring this is the beginning of it. Leaf one, two. We're into 
print page. Um, these are, uh, we're looking at, again, down here at the bottom of the page and very tiny because there's so much information packed into a 500 page uh, byte magazine that um, uh, we're um, curating this one and and um, you can see successfully inferring um, uh, page numbers and keeping track of, of all that's going on. Now, what I did um, in going through the rest of this magazine, um, I uh, generated, I did it and generated the, uh, the, scan, the JSON file and then um, took a look at the um, timestamps and found that I started uh, this one Sunday morning, 8.22, and um, even with whatever um, disturbances and things, I took a break here and there. I finished this um, at uh, 8.50, so about 28 minutes to do almost 500 pages um, with the current state of the um, of the, the uh, page to leaf ferret. Um, what that uh, translates to is um, even without uh, practice or without further optimizations, one of the things I'm working on, it's a little tricky, is this inferred only. In other words, look at the suspect uh, entries. That one is a little tricky because I, at this point, I cache uh, through threading, multi-threading on Python. I cache uh, so, so many leaves ahead so that you don't have to wait for downloading uh, leaf images. Um, the problem with uh, inferred only is that uh, um, that you have to generally be able to really move through a considerable uh, quantity of the magazine uh, uh, looking for the you know the next inferred one, and that involves threading communications, yields, and and locks and things. And we'll get to that, but. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I now know that if it takes me about uh, a, uh, an hour to do a thousand pages, that with 1.4 million pages of computer magazines at the Internet Archive, we would be looking at an effort of about 1,400 hours of volunteer crowdsourceable uh, labor to completely map the print page numbers uh, to leaf numbers IDs um, at the Internet Archive. Now, um, w one of the reasons that, that this is so um, important is that, um, particularly when we look at, um, at the uh, a Byte magazine, I've mentioned in our Daytech article how, um, how significant the uh, self-references are in a complex document structure of uh, of a of a magazine, and how we were looking at the table of contents, uh, the uh, reader, the uh, index of advertiser, and the masthead. Well, here's an, here's another example of of why this ability to have a map between print page numbers and uh, leaf uh, images of of digitized documents is so important. Because here in the 500-page um, magazine of Byte, um, th the back of the magazine, we have the uh, reader service card, um, which is an inquiry number and then a page number. So we have the um, advertiser index here. Uh, it's ex extremely uh, valuable and important for um, a kind of a Sudoku uh, puzzle like uh, uh, reference to what to expect to be found on all these pages because a lot of these ads um, you know appear month after month and once we've seen them one month um, if we know we're going to see them again um, we can uh, design uh, digitization processes that are uh, a lot more uh, a lot smarter about uh, the structure of a of a document than to just take each page 
uh, as a clean slate. Here's an inter another interesting self-referential aspect of Byte Magazine. In Soft Talk, we have all those bestseller lists, which, um, which are meticulously um, curated uh, top 30 and top 10 lists of all the software sales in the Apple community during the four years that so, uh, soft talk was available but the bomb the best of my bite um, bomb was a similar uh, program but it wasn't best sellers of software it's basically a, a part of the reader service card you would also uh, vote on the best articles of the month so in this article in this issue the bomb box is telling us what articles um, are votable this month but here's the previous uh bomb results for the printer's uh, top uh, article. So there's tremendous amount of not just self-referential within an, uh, an, uh, uh, an issue of a magazine, but what we see is that there are uh, significant self-referential uh, references between issues in a serial publication. So this is, this is uh, a quick snapshot of where we are with um, the uh, um, with the print page to leaf ferret. Um, we're making great progress. We need to um, optimize our OCR of, of print page corner uh, images. We're going to be generating our scan XML updated file and our new fact miners uh, uh, ground truth storage uh, magazine format file. Uh, and uh, and hopefully we'll be able to make this tool available and uh, generate some interest to uh, begin mapping as many uh, collections as possible at the Internet Archive because we believe that the print page uh, number to leaf number metadata is an, a vital foundational uh, piece of, of metadata um, to support e-research and machine learning into the future at the Internet Archive. Um, thank you, and I look forward to being able to give you an even more exciting update the next time.